Hello friends, welcome to our channel. I am Ashish and today I will be telling you about the pancreatic juice. So if you are new to our channel and have not subscribed our channel yet, please click on the subscribe button below and do subscribe our channel. So pancreatic juice is usually asked in long question type. So you have to prepare the question or write the answer in a systematic manner. So we will just going to discuss the pancreatic juice under the following headings. First, we will be going to discuss about the introduction. Then we are going to discuss about the contents or the composition of the pancreatic juice. Then it's secretion regulation of the secretion and the functions of the pancreatic juice so let us start it first we'll have introduction to the pancreatic juice so pancreatic juice is secreted by the pancreas which is a mixed gland so what i mean by mixed gland so mixed gland is a gland which contains both exocrine and endocrine part endocrine part is concerned with the hormonal changes or the hormonal synthesis and its functions and exocrine is concerned with the secretion of the pancreatic juice so the pancreatic juice is secreted by the as the mucus part of the see pancreas has two parts we have islet of langerhans and the remaining part that is called the exocrine part of the pancreas so it is made up of acini or alveoli so there are multiple alveoli or acini present in the pancreas so they have got their own ducts and the cell which secretes the different enzyme Suppose there is a single alveoli, so the duct from the alveoli is called the alveolar duct. Many alveolar ducts combine to form the interlobular duct, and many interlobular ducts from different regions of the pancreas combine to form the main duct of pancreas, which is also called the Wilson duct, and opens into the duodenum. So they they open into the second part of the duodenum. Or suppose over here. So, what is the importance of the point of opening of the ampulla of the waiter or the opening of the duct of Wilson in the duodenum? So, above this part, above this point of opening of the pancreatic duct, above lies the foregut. So, foregut margin ends till the above the opening of the pancreatic duct, and just below the pancreatic duct, the midgut starts. Apart from the main duct of Wilson, we have one more accessory drug present in some of the cases or some of the individuals and that is called the duct of Santorini which exists in only some persons. Now let's start with the pancreatic juice and see what are the components and the composition. First let me tell you about the volume of secretion. How much pancreatic juice is secreted per day? So it is secreted from 500 to 800 ml per day. ml per day. So about 0.5 liter to 0.8 liter of pancreatic juice is secreted per day by the pancreas. See, there are many juices related to the into the GIT part. Suppose we have pancreatic juice, bile juice, then we have the gastric juices also, and sulcus intricans or the intestinal juice. So we have to remember all the composition and the amount secreted of each. So 500 to 800 is the amount secreted of the pancreatic juice and from 800 to 1200 is the amount of the or the volume of the bile juice secreted by the body so from 500 to 800 we have pancreatic juice from 800 to 1200 the bile juice volume ranges and from 1200 to 1600 is the volume of the gastric juice so you have to remember pancreatic juice the volume of the pancreatic juice secreted per day is the 500 to 800 ml so in the which medium does it act it is very obvious and most clear to everybody that it acts in a highly alkaline medium highly alkaline medium so the ph will range from 8 to 8.3 some somebody might be thinking i'm saying highly alkaline medium and the ph is i'm mentioning just above the neutral see for the body 8 to 9 pH is called the highly alkaline. So this is a highly alkaline medium that is the of the pancreatic juice and why it has become highly alkaline we will discuss in, in the later part of the video. So if you like the video please hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel. Now we have discussed the volume, the medium and somebody also mentioned about the specific gravity. So it is around 1.010 to 1.018. It is not worth mentioning if you want to write you can also write. Now let's start with the main topic of discussion that is the composition, composition of pancreatic juice. See when we talk about the composition of pancreatic juice we have to discuss both the solids and the liquid part. So we out of total pancreatic juice so pancreatic juice 
कंसिस्ट ऑफ अराउंड नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट और जो मोर प्रिसाइजली नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ वाटर एंड ओनली अ वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट दैट इज द रिमेनिंग पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट सॉलिड्स सो वी हैव नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट वाटर इन द पैंकैटिक जूस एंड द रिमेनिंग पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट वी हैव द सॉलिड नाउ सॉलिड्स कैन वी है मैनी टाइप्स वी कैन हैव ऑर्गेनिक सॉलिड्स एंड इनऑर्गेनिक पार्ट सो सॉलिड्स कैन हैव टू पार्ट्स ऑर्गेनिक सॉलिड्स एंड इनऑर्गेनिक इनऑर्गेनिक पार्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द आयंस बेसिकली ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट प्रोटीन्स डेट इज डिवाइडेड टू मैनी पार्ट कॉलिट एंजाइम्स ऑल्सो विच कैन ऑल्सो है फॉर द सब डिविजन लाइक द लिपोलिटिक और द प्रोटोलिटिक एंजाइम्स सो वी हैव अवर्ड ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट एंड इनऑर्गेनिक पार्ट इनऑर्गेनिक पार्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द आयंस सो ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट हैज अदर टू पार्ट्स सो इट इज कन्यू फर्दर वाइड इन टू और क्लासफाइड इन टू टू वी अवर्ड अ सेट कॉल्ड एंजाइम्स एंड अदर सेट द ऑल द रिमेनिंग पार्ट रिमेनिंग ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट रिमेनिंग ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट विच कंसिस्ट मोस्टली ऑफ द रिमेनिंग प्रोटीन सो बोथ एंजाइम्स एंड द ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट आर बेसिकली द प्रोटीन्स सो रिमेनिंग ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द एल्ब्यूमिन एंड ग्लोबुलिन नाउ वी हेव टू टॉक अबाउट द एंजाइम्स एंड रिमेंबर द नेम्स सो आई विल जस्ट टेल यू ट्रिक हाउ टू रिमेंबर ऑल द एंजाइम्स पार्ट वेद इन द इन द इन द क्लासिफाइड मैनर मीन्स वॉट आई मीन टू से वी विल जस्ट लर्न अबाउट द प्रोटोलिटिक लिपोलिटिक एंड द हमोलिटिक एंजाइम्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए ट्रिक सो आई विल सजेस्ट यू टू डिस्कस अबाउट लर्न अबाउट द पेंकैटिक जूस बाइल जूस गैस्टिक जूस ऑल इन ए सीक्वेंस सो डेट यू कैन हैव अ ग्रुप ओवरव्यू ऑफ द ऑल द टाइप ऑफ जूसेज एंड द कंपोजिशन सो ऑल द वीडियोज आर वी अपलोडिंग यू मे कैन गेट सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल एंड प्लेस द नोटिफिकेशन बेल सो डेट यू कैन नोटिफाइड फॉर द अपकमिंग वीडियोज सो फर्स्ट लेट इज कम्प्लीट अबाउट द इनऑर्गेनिक पार्ट दैन यू पोस्ट विथ द ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट सो इनऑर्गेनिक पार्ट बेसिकली इन द मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री वेरी कॉमन आइंस पी सी एस पोटेशियम कैल्शियम एंड सोडियम सो वेन यू आर लर्निंग अबाउट द इनऑर्गेनिक पार्ट फर्स्टली सी वेदर पी सी एस इज प्रेजेंट और नॉट इफ पी सी एस इज प्रेजेंट दैन चेक फॉर सी बी और बी सी दैट इज कॉल्ड द बाई कार्बोनेट बाई कार्बोनेट एंड क्लोराइड सो दिस मैनी इंजाइम्स आर प्रेजेंट थे मैनी मोर इंजाइम्स लाइट फोसफेट सल्फेट बट अनदर वर्थ मैंशनिंग इज द मैग्नीशियम विच इज प्रेजेंट इन ए स्लाइटली हाई कंसनट्रेशन सो एज यू ऑल नो पेंकैटिक जूस इज हाईली इंक्लाइन इट इज डू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द बाई कार्बोनेट आयन द कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ बाई कार्बोनेट रेंजेस फ्रॉम हंड्रेड टू वन फिफ्टी मिली इक्वेल पर लीटर एम ई क्यू पर लीटर so it ranges from bicarbonate ion concentration is from 100 to 150 now let's see about the enzymes so we'll dividing enzymes into three parts first is the proteolytic then we'll discuss about the lipolytic and the third is the amylolytic amylolytic so first let's complete the third one so there is only one enzyme in the case of the amylolytic enzymes that is called the pancreatic amylase so there is only one enzyme in case of the amylolytic group of the enzymes of the pancreatic juice now let's see about the trick to remember the proteolytic enzyme so the trick is p c t co cane okay the trick is very simple p c t co cane so p stand for proteolytic so you don't get confused with the other in the group of enzyme so proteolytic enzyme consists of c c is under chymotrypsin then t stand for trypsin co stand for collagenase ca stand for i think most of you might be knowing carboxypeptidase is very important enzyme peptidase is and n stand for nucleases 
whose function is very clear with this name and the last one is the elastase. So you can see we have got here six enzymes in the proteolytic part. In the lipolytic part also we have got six enzymes. And the trick to remember is P C B. Physics, chemistry, biology. So then the order of the trick is three, two, one. So we've got three enzymes starting with the letter P. That is very simple. Pancreatic. We are discussing lipolytic enzyme, so pancreatic lipase. Phospholipase A, phospholipase A, and we have the phospholipase B. And the remaining three enzymes are respectively we have to add two from the C part. So that is called the very important enzyme cholesterol ester hydrolase. That breaks down into cholesterol ester into fatty acid and cholesterol hydrolase. Then we have another C called colipase. What is why it is called colipase? Colipase means it works in association with some other enzymes. So I will tell you when I discuss about the function. And the B stands for bile salt activated lipase. Activated lipase. So like this we have completed the enzymes for the pancreatic juices.